Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Andy. I am excited to introduce our novel framework for multimodal sentiment analysis. In this presentation, we'll be looking at the um, introduction, proposed methods, experiments, uh, results, discussion, and further works. <clears throat> In our digital world, uh, multimodal data now is everywhere. The exponential growth of multimodal data highlights the importance of employing advanced techniques to manage it effectively. Um, given the boundless um, possibilities of applications, our goal is simply to advance multimodal function uh, fusion techniques. The diagram here um, is a classic one for multimodal sentiment analysis. And let's just change the diagram slightly and to use example to illustrate. A INA is used for processing text modality and CAM for images. And we might have other uh, neural networks um, for different uh, modalities such as audio or videos. And all those learned extractions will then combine at fusion layer and pass for prediction. <clears throat> Our strategies are firstly to um, improve the pre-presentation learning um, for better future extraction. And this is associated with the neural networks here. And secondly, just use um, attention mechanisms to um, sort of um, dynamic focus on the relevant information. And thirdly is to um, explore uh, more fusion techniques. Okay, uh, we have an innovative design of dual pipeline based attention mechanism or called DPA for short. Uh, the approach was in, inspired by ensemble learning, uh, which combines multiple models to create a stronger predictive model. And DPA can be thought of two pipelines um, joined together to form an ensemble. And the main purpose is, is for joint replace, uh, representation learning. Uh, what that means is uh, two um, pipelines. Uh, each pipeline will learn the same data, exactly the same data, independently, and this independently learned future will then combine at later stages. So the use of the pair homogeneous models uh, is to ensure the consistency and optimizes um, uh, the performance, performance by leveraging the unique strength of each model type to uh, achieve the best possible outcome. However, there are some differences. Um, DPA has two because on three or four, you know, are likely to have overfitting issues. And DPA focuses on the uh, future learning instead of contributing to prediction. So if we look back to this um, diagram here, that has no uh, uh, predictions all the way through until the very end. And DPA um, work in all those models in the DPA, work collaboratively. Um, and also use the long bootstring data, you know, uh, exactly the same data for um, each pipeline. And lastly, is it integrates information at different stages. Okay. Um, in our implementation, we explored uh, various neural net networks architectures uh, for text modality. And next, select one is the baseline model. And this baseline model. Uh, serves as a benchmark to evaluate the eff effectiveness of the dual pilot approach. Okay, and this is our framework. Uh, so each modality has two pipelines as discussed before. One, two, one, two. Okay, and all these are to learn and extract uh, the same data. And attention mechanism is added to focus on the key data components. And this is just like shining a spotlight on the um, key elements of your data sets. And, and also we use different one for the images. Uh, our DPA converts in harmony. First is through the local fusion where it combines attention weighted future together and moving on to the global fusion where it captures uh, more intricate data um, or insights from uh, each modality and form a more comprehensive uh, picture for prediction. Flexibility is our framework's middle name, 
it adapts different neural networks, as you can see. And then um, scalability is to accommodate uh, in case we have more modalities here and we can just add it to the framework, just like puzzle pieces. Okay, and next is to um, prove the performance by using um, public data set. And the data set we use is called MVSA data set, and which contains single and multiple subsets. And each subset has um, uh, text and image pairs. Uh, uh, so ideally for uh, sentiment analysis. And before we process, uh, we train the uh, model. Um, some sort of uh, preprocessing is required for um, text and for images, uh, like NLP for uh, text and normalization for images. And then the data set is split into three um, further um, subsets, 80% uh, for training, 10% for validation, and 10% for testing. And the performance was um, um, actually evaluated by traditional performance metrics, such as accuracy, F1 score, F F1 score in particular, and AUC ROC. Okay, and this is our proposed models uh, utilizing our in innovative framework. In the text modality, uh, by L I L LSTM with 64 and 128, uh, these are the same model, but different settings, and using uh, different time step to decode the language nuances with remarkable precision. And currently, uh, we have CNN and VGG layers work um, collaboratively to um, sort of extract emotional cues from image data and see how our design um, focus the key components we use in the uh, content-based attention mechanism for text and spatial attention mechanism for images. And moving to the um, activation function, we have a 10 activation function for, for the text uh, modality and red rule, uh, which is a rectified linear unit used for images. And lastly, we have a softmax, and the softmax actually converts and uh, normalize the uh, signal from the global fusion layer into a probability distribution. Okay, um, our proposed uh, models compared with previous models and demonstrates um, increased capacity, flexibility, and accuracy. In our experimental results, our dual pipeline combined with attention mechanism has shown improved um, performance in multimodal fusion tasks. And our approach demonstrates the, uh, the importance of uh, modality specific processing and the benefit of um, joint representation learning. Um, so our findings um, offers a novel and effective solutions and uh, with a framework on model selection, uh, attention mechanism design, and thus contributing to the advancement of multimodal fusion techniques. Okay, in the future, um, to experiment with latest models such as BERT and GPT for text modality, and um, use um, DIT, which is um, data efficient image transformer, and swing transformer for the image modality. And of course, would would need to um, explore um, additional modalities such as audios or uh, you know videos, and and also to have a look at the um, the fusion layer to explore more uh, different fusion techniques, uh, and and also the uh, attention mechanisms. And definitely, we would like to apply our DPA um, in uh, real world scenarios across different domains. Yeah, thank you very much for your listening.